Hello, in this video we're gonna show you how to create a bus network system. A hub. In a hub, a frame is passed along or broadcast to every one of its ports. It doesn't matter that the frame is only destined for one port, the hub has no way of distinguishing which port or a frame should be sent to. Passing it along to every port ensures that it will reach its intended destination. This plays a lot of traffic onto the network and can lead to poor network response time. Now I'm gonna explain what a switch. A switch, however, keeps a record of the MAC addresses of all the devices connected to it. With this information, a switch can identify which system is sitting on which port, so when a frame is received, it knows exactly which port to send it to, without significantly increasing network response times. So regardless of the numbers of pieces transmitting, users will always have access to the maximum amount of bandwidth. It's for these reasons why a switch is considered to be a much better choice than a hub. <laughs> The differences between a hub and a switch is that a hub is much cheaper and is has more traffic so it's better to use with a small network instead of a switch which is better for a big network. is a device that gives the IP addresses to the computers attached to the hub and uh, creates a link between the small network and the big network. The Ethernet cable is also known as Category 5 cable and it's used to connect uh, computers to the router and the hub and to share the files and resources that a network allows us. 